Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is 18th century political formations. Question number 1. Nadir Shah was the ruler of which country? Option A. Iran. Option B. Afghan. Option C. Iraq. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Iran. In the midst of this economic and political crisis, the ruler of Iran, Nadir Shah, sacked and plundered the city of Delhi in 1739. Question number 2. Who got the title of Asaf Jah founder of state of Hyderabad? Option A. Burhanul Mulk. Option B. Nizamul Mulk. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Nizamul Mulk. Nizamul Mulk Asaf Ja, the founder of Hyderabad state, was one of the most powerful members at the court of the Mughal Emperor Faruk Siyar. Question number 3. Who got the title of Asaf Ja, founder of state of Hyderabad? Option A. Burhanul Mulk. Option B. Nizamul Mulk. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Nizamul Mulk. Nizamul Mulk Asaf Ja, the founder of Hyderabad state, was one of the most powerful members at the court of the Mughal Emperor Faruk Siyar. Question number 4. What was the Jats were prosperous about? Option A. Artists. Option B. Agriculturist. Option C. Craftsman. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. Agriculturist. The Jats were prosperous agriculturists. And towns like Panipat and Ballabhagarh became important trading centers in the areas dominated by them. Question number 5. What was the Jats were prosperous about? Option A. Artists. Option B. Agriculturist. Option C. Craftsman. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. Agriculturist. The Jats were prosperous agriculturists, and towns like Panipat and Ballabhagarh became important trading centers in the areas dominated by them. Question number 6. What was the chief minister of Marathas was called? Option A. Wazir. Option B. Peshwa. Option C. Subadar. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Peshwa, Maratha state was wielded by a family of Chitpawa Brahmanas who served Shivaji's successors as Peshwa or principal minister. Question number 7. Who were the Ijaradas? Option A. Revenue farmers. Option B. Farmers. Option C. Tax collectors. Option D. Tax collectors. The correct answer is Option A. Revenue farmers. The state depended on local bankers and mahajanas for loans. It sold the right to collect tax to the highest bidders. These revenue farmers, Ijaradas, agreed to pay the state a fixed sum of money. Question number 8. The third battle of Panipat was fought in which year? Option A. 1761. Option B. 1767. Option C. 1788. Option D. 1755. The correct answer is. Option A. 1761. The military campaigns made other rulers hostile towards the Marathas. 
As a result, they were not inclined to support the Marathas during the Third Battle of Panipat in 1761. Question number 9. What were the small political groups of the Sikhs called? Option A. Khalsa. Option B. Missiles. Option C. Dal Khalsa. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Missiles. Under a number of able leaders in the 18th century, the Sikhs organized themselves into a number of bands called Jatas and later on Missiles. Question number 10. Where did the Maharaja Ranjit Singh establish his capital? Option A. Ludhiana. Option B. Lahore. Option C. Chandigarh. Option D. Rawalpindi. The correct answer is Option B. Lahore. Maharaja Ranjit Singh reunited Sikh groups and established his capital at Lahore in 1799. Question number 11. What were the total number of Sikh missiles before Ranjit Singh? Option A. 10. Option B. 12. Option C. 20. Option D. 15. The correct answer is Option C. 20. There was total 20 Sikh missiles before Ranjit Singh. Question number 12. What were the tax levied by Marathas was called? Option A. Choth. Option B. Sardesh Mukhi. Option C. Umra. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option B. Sardesh Mukhi. Sardesh Mukhi was 9 to 10 percent of the land revenue paid to the head revenue collector in the Deccan by Maratha. Question number 13. Who were appointed by Mughals to control over their provinces? Option A. Sabedas. Option B. Fojdari. Option C. Diwani. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is Option D. All of them, nobles appointed as governors, sabedas, often controlled the offices of revenue and military administration, Diwani and Fojdari, to control their provinces. Question number 14. Name the states that were carved out of the old Mughal provinces in the 18th century. Option A. Awadh. Option B. Bengal. Option C. Hyderabad. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is Option D. All of them. Awadh, Bengal and Hyderabad were the states that were carved out of the old Mughal provinces in the 18th century. Question number 15. Who was the founder of Awadh? Option A. Saadat Khan. Option B. Murshid Kuli Khan. Option C. Asafja. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is Option A. Saadat Khan. Founder of Awadh was Burhanul Mulk Saadat Khan. Question number 16. What Burhanul Mulk did to decrease Mughal influence? Option A. Try to reduce the number of office holders. Option B. Try to increase the number of office holders. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option A. Try to reduce the number of office holders. Burhan Ulmulk tried to decrease Mughal influence in the Awadh region by reducing the number of office holders, Jagiradars, appointed by the Mughals. Question number 17. Why did Zamindars of Bengal borrow money from bankers and money lenders? Option A. To increase their wealth. Option B. To pay revenue in cash. Option C. To buy new land. Option D. 
None of these. The correct answer is Option B. To pay revenue in cash, Zamindars of Bengal borrow money from bankers and money lenders to pay the revenue in cash. Question number 18. When did Nadia Shah attack Delhi? Option A. 1785. Option B. 1756. Option C. 1756. Option D. 1739. The correct answer is Option D. 1739. Nader Shah was a ruler of Iran. He attacked Delhi in 1739 AD. He sacked and plundered it. Question number 19. What were the offices held by Sadat Khan? Option A. Subhadari. Option B. Diwani. Option C. Fajdari. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is Option D. All of them, Saadat Khan held the combined offices of Subhadari, Diwani and Fajdari. In fact, he was responsible for managing the political, financial and military affairs of the province of Awadh. Question number 20. Why did the Nawab of Awadh and Bengal try to do away with the Jagirdari system? Option A. To increase the influence of the Mughals. Option B. To reduce the influence of the Mughals. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of these. The correct answer is. Option B. To reduce the influence of the Mughals. The Nabavs of Awadh and Bengal tried to do away with the Jagirdari system in order to reduce the influence of the Mughals in their states. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.